character development. Tell your neighbor, I think he's talking about you today. <laughs> so you come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy. I need help, Lord. Forgive me. I'm the one that's standing in the need of prayer. It's not my brother. It's not my sister. It's not my husband. It's not my wife. You see, when I was young, I was clever. I thought I could change the world. And now I'm older. I'm wise. I want to change myself. Let me repeat that quotation. When I was young, I was clever, and I thought I could change the world. Now I'm older, I'm wise. I want to change myself. Because if I can change myself, I can have greater influence to change others. In the name of Jesus. I'm preaching better than you clapping now. There is grace available when you are growing and developing your character because you're going to need God's strength and God's forgiveness. You'll be very unhappy and unfulfilled if you don't get God's strength and you don't get God's forgiveness. You'll be the most difficult person to live with in life. There are three major decisions that control your destiny. Decisions are very powerful. As you develop your character, these three decisions are powerful for your life. Number one, your decisions on what to focus on. If I only focus on our differences, if I only focus on our problems we go through, if I focus on my problems, then those problems are going to grow and our differences are going to grow. So I don't choose to focus on what I'm going through. I learn to focus on what I'm going to. For example, my focus is to leave a legacy. Leave a legacy for my children. Leave a legacy for you. And so I don't want to get stuck in the mud with problems. So that's not what I'm looking at all the time. I'm looking at what do I want this to be? And that's what I focus on. So you've got to make, learn to make decisions. It takes maturity to do that. Not to stay focused on what you're going through. Not to stay focused on your debts. Not to stay focused on your weaknesses. Not to face, stay focused on somebody else's problems. But to stay focused on a harmonious, fulfilled life in spite of your problems you're going through. And so my focus is on wholeness, is on fulfillment, is on victory in spite of what I'm going through. Number two, you... One and second major decision is a decision about what things mean to you. Anybody who has a problem, you got to, you got to ask yourself, what does this mean to me? Does it mean a problem or does it mean a challenge? It's a big difference. If this means a problem to you, it's going to defeat you. But if it means a challenge and greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world, you can overcome it. And so you've got to learn in all your difficulties you're going through, make a decision that this has a positive meaning for me, not a negative meaning. Because if you look at this in a negative way, that relationship is going to go through difficulty all the time. And so if you look at it in a positive way and look at that difference doesn't have to be division. It's not competing. It's, com 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 it's, it's not competing. It's completing. I'm being completed by the difference. I'm being helped by the difference. And it's very, very powerful. You make that decision about what does this mean to you. Some people always make a decision for the negative meaning of something. 
If you make a decision for the negative meaning, it's going to destroy your life. Third decision you're going to make. Your decisions about what to do to create the results you desire. Your decisions about what to do to create desires or results that you want in your life. So when you mature, your character gets developed about making decisions because it's in the moment of your decisions that your destiny gets shaped. And so your decisions what to focus on, your decisions about what this means to me, and your decisions that when I face this problem, whatever the problem is, financial, relationship, health, whatever it is, the decision is what must I do to create the results that I want? You must become a result-driven person. And there's something you're going to have to do differently to get different results. You're going to have to make the decision. Am, am I going to be nice? Am I going to be loving? Am I going to be kind? Am I going to reach out instead of withdrawing? Am I going to be supportive instead of, of uh, being neutral? What am I going to do to create results that I want? And you must learn to make those decisions in the name of Jesus. I want to close by saying this. And that's why the Bible says we glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation, trouble, works perseverance. There's not one successful person that I've ever read about or know about that got success served to them on a golden tray. But when you make up your mind to be successful, make up your mind to fulfill your destiny, you're going to attract trouble. Because the devil wants to destroy you and he wants to distract you. And he'll bring trouble. And that's why we must learn to glory in tribulation, knowing that trouble will bring the character of perseverance out. That you'll develop patience and develop perseverance that you can push through, baby. Push through your trouble and get what you want in life in Jesus' name. Amen.